Cause people's experience different Check the prejudice at the door Speak the power you give the flow Tell the truth if it's sweet or sour Cause the hour we spit in the fire Fire All right, everyone, this is Spitting Fire coming to you with another one. We have another rich brother accused of rape. That's right, rapper T.I., okay? We have a lady, young lady named Jasmine that is accusing T.I. of some sort of threatening and abuse and or rape. And she has went on to Instagram to say some very harsh things or whatever. And she's reaching out to victims, okay? You know this is a society of victimhood, okay? So she's reaching out to victims and it went on to say such following. So if you can't hear it, I'm going to read it to you. Um, what it was said on the Instagram. It says the Glam University. So if you go to the Instagram, it's the Glam University and it says this. The sad part of being a woman and being a black woman is this. The public praises our predators. And then she put at Trouble Man, which is T.I. You put a gun to my head in front of children. I never called the police on you. But for years you have you have painted me as the villain. As black women, it's hard to heal from rape, violence, and other things because you are painted as the problem or reason that this has happened to you. Let's normalize the allowing black women to heal. It's so hard of being a victim of rape and being painted as the reason it happened. Let's talk at Keisha Bottoms. You can't have a person that uh, has victimized women speak for us. Let's have a real talk. So she was reaching out to someone named Keisha Bottoms and said, let's have a real talk. Uh, she said, T.I. painted her to be a villain and he put a gun in her head and she didn't call the police and th she's a victim of rape. So I'm, I'm assuming that she's saying that he raped her. Okay. And then she put on her Instagram, this is what she put. Okay. In the middle, it says currently interviewing all victims. Okay. So, you know, that's on the far left. That's me. Okay. Men are under attack, which I have been saying since 2019. It is now 2021 for the last two years. And then on the other side, muting is bullying because the first thing they want to do is take away your career, silence you, never play your music, never play your uh, movies and everything else and everything you, that you done worked hard for. They want to take it away from you and all this kind of stuff, all because of what people saying they are in the middle. This is the era of victimhood. Victimhood. Hood, praying the victim is being praised, okay? And it's crazy because she said in that that the people who are the perpetrators are being praised, okay? Now, I don't know about you, but there ain't no predators being praised, all right? Okay? None whatsoever. However, the victims are being praised alleged victims that is at that okay so now we got a lot to say about these things let's get into it as we um go on with commentary all right let's go all right so we done sat up there and seen some things now t i had something to say about r kelly and he has actually worked with r kelly you know um i'm a flirt video and some other projects or whatever and i find it very ironic that you know, now that these men who had something to say about R. Kelly is now finding themselves in high water. Now, in 2019, I, I hate to be the one to say I, 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 but I had to give myself credit for the shit that I have been saying because I had spoke this shit two years ago before anybody even put shit together because I seen this shit. And I'm thankful that God gave me the mind, common sense, logic, critical thinking, and smart as hell to see the BS, what I see that happened two years ago before everybody even seen it i seen that stuff when me too first came out that this was going to be a problem it's particularly for black men okay and i told black men i told them that they need to come together collectively to fight against the me too times of movement okay 
Because they're going to find themselves in hot water. And we're going to uh, elaborate on this a little bit more at the end of this commentary. But first, we have to say some things, okay? So, on this post or whatever, there was some other stuff that was said. We're going to get back to this R. Kelly stuff in a minute. But this was right here, okay? So, it says that Sabrina Patterson is airing documentary about T.I.'s alleged abuse, allegations, interviewing alleged victims to participate. You get what I'm going with this? Not everybody doing this documentary shit. Everybody want to tell a story about somebody on documentary stuff. You men need to do a, a, a documentary on accusers and, and groupies. That's what you guys need to do. To do the life of it and then show how when they don't get their way, this is what going to be the outcome of playing victim and having to come out of a bag. Because it sounds like to me she want a bag. And we're going to get into that a little bit more, but it just sounds like to me she want a bag. I'm sick of it. I am not, you know I am not an advocate for the Me Two Times Up movement. Me, R. Kelly, I don't like none of them women liberations movement. I think it's a way for them to teach women how to cloud chase, especially little black girls that they say they have little black girls in the neighborhood, although they did nothing for little black girls in the neighborhood, and they have not contributed to little black girls in the neighborhood, and now they giving little black girls in the neighborhood that sitting up there being groupies to these stars so they can get money, and they teaching little black girls in the neighborhood how to go about getting the bad by accusing their uh, celebrity icon of rape, and this is a way that you can come up because people gonna believe you because you are little black girl in the neighborhood. So this is some of the situations that I have been talking about with men, and I have said it when I was doing the breakdown of Tasha K, and I have said it when I was doing other breakdowns because of the simple fact is when you sit up here and you. Uh, been with a man and the outcome don't be what you want it to be, you can fall back and say it was rape. People are not taking into account that you go to them. People are not taking into account that you didn't go to the police. People are not taking into account that you had a relationship with them. Off and on, people are not taking into account that you even knew the family. People are not taking into account that it was a back and forth situation that you sent up there, sent text messages, that you sent emails, that you praised these people. People don't take into account of anything other than you said he raped you and because you're a woman, we're supposed to believe you. And if I was a rape victim, I'm just going to believe you. And that's just it. Fuck the man. Fuck what he said. Fuck him. He don't have no voice. He don't have no First Amendment rights. Take his livelihood. Take everything he worked for because all you have to do is screen rape. Screen rape. That's all you have to do. And you men who sat up there and said, oh, I got daughters and I, you know, R. Kelly, you know, he, he was wrong with that. You know, I got a daughter. Well, You've been somebody's daughter over too. You forgot that. The mother of your child was somebody's daughter. Your wife was somebody's daughter. Somebody in the world, if you were a heterosexual man, that that was somebody's daughter. You understand what I'm saying? So, my thing is this. And I've said it to a whole lot of people. And I've said it to you guys. You understand that you have to use common sense and logic. Your daughter one day is going to be with a man and she's going to be sexually active. So, you cannot sit up there and say you have a daughter and that's your excuse. On why you believe these alleged accusers that accusing R. Kelly. And you were, T.I. was one of them. You the one who even went and got your daughter Hyman checked at the doctor's office. Which that wasn't even none of your business. Because she, as she goes into a woman, that's something private that a woman have to sit up there and endure on her own. When she goes to her first OBGYN. And you should not have been there. You understand? But because you don't want nobody bending your daughter over. Although you done been many daughters over. Okay, now somebody's accusing you of this, and I don't believe her not one bit. But if I wanted to be shallow thinking like these accusers and these fake, um, and these shallow ass people who believe everybody that said that they was right, if I want to be shallow and airheaded and dumb like them, then I will sit up there and believe her. You know what I mean? But I'm not believing her because here's why I'm not going to believe you, uh, Sabrina Patterson. And and, and I, I'm, I'm just going to tell you why I'm not going to believe you. You know what I mean? Now, I could be optimistic. I'm open up for change of mind. Change my mind. I'm hoping that you can because I don't want to be a victim shamer. They call me a victim shamer on here. But I use logic. Okay, so let's say this. Let's say that I did believe you. Let's just say that T.I., did rape you. Let's say this. Now. This is one of those things. Where you have to take a deep breath. Before you even get into some shit. That makes sense. Because. 
you said this man put a gun to your head in front of children. That's what she said, y'all. That's what she said, y'all. You said it. Now, I'm not saying it didn't happen. I said I didn't believe you because of... How can I put this? I want to make sure I'm saying it correctly because you guys are make me eat my words. What I'm saying, and when I say I don't believe you, what I'm saying is I can't believe that you guys do the, say these things in hopes of getting recognition. And the reason why I said that is because at some point it's no longer his fault, even if he did do it. This is why I say I don't believe you. And if he did, like I just said, just for say for instance, he did do it. It's now no longer his fault. It's your fault. It's yours. It's yours. Somebody put a gun to your head. I don't understand this Megan the Stallion lady either. Somebody put a gun on you and or shoot you and you still don't talk to the police. Because where I'm from in Detroit, if we ain't talking to the police, it's a reason why. It's a reason why. That means this stuff getting taken straight to the street. We're not going to social media. Do you get where I'm going with this? What would make you have a man put a gun to your head and you not say nothing? What would make a man rape you and you not say, why is people, and it's like, okay, not to go to the police and file charges on these people. If you knew that he has been incarcerated before and got in time, got in trouble times before of having possessions of guns and all these things. Why wouldn't you go to the police and say, Hey, this man put a gun out on me. They would have picked them up like that. Why me too. And times I've been out for years now. Why would you now feel comfortable coming out saying these things? Why that you must, that must've been a big falling out, a big falling out. I don't get you people. I don't get you men. I don't get you men that is not fighting back at these type of women. I don't get you men and you women. T Tiny, if you are t you T.I.'s wife, I will make him. If this is false, I will make him sue her ass. I don't give a damn if she ain't got a quarter. If you got 25 cents, bitch, I'm suing you for 24. I want 24 cents. I'll go to the penny candy store. I want 24 cents. You understand me? I will spend thousands of dollars for 24 cents. I sure will. I sure will. That would be some free money that a lawyer would make. Because you're not going to sit up there and tarnish my image. Because you mad and you want a bag and money. Now you won't call because you know that he's been with women. So if they think a bag is finna be had, you know they finna say that he raped them too. You know this. It's easy to do. And if, and if he get picked up for this, you men, all you celebrity men, all you damn celebrity men, you scared that your career going to be over with. Well, it should be. It's, then throw in the towel. Because if you got to live like this in fear, uh, and you know you had women, and you know they flocked to you, because I know how they done. And they want to label all y'all rapists now. Then you all need to throw in the towel and say, fuck it. Especially when y'all came from bologna sandwiches any goddamn way. See, that's one thing about a bologna sandwich. You should never get too big where you can't eat one again. Yeah, it was nice to eat the steak and the lobsters and the caviar and all the flaming youngs. But it was all right to go back to a bologna sandwich every now and again. In your big mansion and eating it. All y'all need to get together because you have to understand something. If all you guys come collective 
And all you rich people come collective together. And you guys say, this has got to stop. They can't take all your careers at once. There will be no entertainment industry. There will be no hip hop industry. The powers that be, and even the, the for the uh, the ones who hold all the money, what they say, the Jewish men, Jewish community, or whatever, you can. Hey, they ain't nothing without us. We as black people hold down the economy. They ain't nothing without us. I said that for the last couple of years. I fought against people who's on the other side of the ops who think shallow. I've been trying to teach their asses for two years. It ain't no hope for them. They just some shallow ass thinkers over there. I don't even be bothered with them. But for you people out there that's remaining, you have to use common sense and logic. It's only making sense. Now, now he's a rapist. You're not finna tell me all my men are rapists. Fuck you. You're not finna do it. And I'm gonna tell my own black women, you need to stop. Because for you women who have sons, and everybody just wanted to sit up there and protect the girl. You need to start raising the hell up. And tell these bitches to fall back. And if you've been a real baby, go take your ass and get some counseling. But you ain't taking my men down. You ain't taking my son down. Real talk. Now this is Spitting Fire and I'm out. Fire out. <laughs>